If you're a newbie or a soon-to-be parent, you likely have no idea how many different opinions there are about infant sleep expectations, especially regarding where a baby sleeps. Experts state that babies should sleep on their back on a firm, boring surface. Other experts and cultures promote bed sharing while breastfeeding. New parents also have unrealistic expectations about what it means to sleep through the night. Regardless of where sleep happens, your newborn's tiny tummy can hold enough milk to satisfy him for a very short time, just one to two hours between feedings for the first few days. You'll be lucky to get more than five hour long stretches of sleep for the first several months of your baby's life. To make your life more interesting, your baby is born with days and nights mixed up. While pregnant, your womb rocks your baby to sleep during the day as you move about. While you sleep at night, your baby is wide awake. After birth, your baby's brain is used to being awake at night. He's really not trying to test your patience. That's for years down the road. To fix the day-night confusion, understand that more calories consumed during the daytime eventually results in fewer calories needed during the nighttime. Also remember that babies eat 8 to 12 times in 24 hours. While waiting for your milk to come in more and more, hourly cluster feeding stimulates it to come in. Your newborn's tummy size and your milk volume is about the size of a cherry at birth. At three days, your milk could fill a walnut, and at one week, an apricot, and at one month, it's the size of an egg. As the tummy grows, your baby's brain needs to learn to be hungry during the day and sleepy during the night. The following suggestions for feeding frequency will get him there sooner than later. Always feed your baby on demand. Don't put him on a schedule or watch the clock too closely. During the day, feed your baby at least every three hours from the start of one feeding to the start of the next. Wake him up if you need to, but feed him sooner if he acts hungry. During the night, feed your baby at least every three hours for the first few nights of life. Don't worry, he'll be hungry to cluster feed every hour or two anyway. The nighttime rules change a bit as your baby gains weight. Let him sleep for one four to five hour stretch only at night once he's gaining one ounce per day, ideally by day four. A weight check will confirm weight gain. Nighttime rules get even better as your baby reliably wakes on his own to ask for feedings. Some babies are so sleepy. Don't wake your baby at night once he meets these three criteria. He's back to birth weight, usually at 10 to 14 days old. He gains one ounce per day, and you can trust him to tell you when he's hungry. When breastfeeding, you can't measure how much your baby drinks, nor do you need to. But if he wakes up at night in the first few months, he's probably hungry, so feed him. Most people think a kid's bedtime is 8 p.m., but a newborn isn't a kid. A newborn's bedtime, and thus yours, is 12 midnight. Why? Remember the size of your baby's tiny tummy. If it can only hold enough milk to sleep 5 hours at most, the best time for everyone to sleep is 12 to 5 a.m. So, get a good feeding in before 12 and hope for the best. This parents is sleeping through the night, for a while at least. So take naps, lots of naps.